Hey, welcome to another episode of You Love Comics. This is a YouTube show where showcase some reason, comic calls, comic speculations, and stuff for my collection. All right, I got an awesome haul for you. This is a good mix of dollar bin, new books, and some awesome finds that cost more than a dollar, but really good at prices as well. Before I get into this awesome haul, do me a favor, smash that like button. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and shows that more people will see these videos. If you have any uh, questions, you like what you see, you want to say hi, whatever, leave a comment. I'll get back to you accordingly. You like these type of videos and you haven't done so already, do me a favor. You like comic calls, comic speculations, comic collections, comic mystery boxes. You just love comics in general. Guess what? You're at the right place. So do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button. Become part of You Love Comics Conversation. Smash, smash that bell for notifications. All right. So this is from a store that I told I, I showed you stuff in other halls. They're going out of business, and he had a ton of stuff in the doll bin. There's so much stuff, and I and uh, my son has like some friend here. So I'm like, I'm gonna stop, drop him off there, and then I'm gonna go to the store, give myself an excuse to go there, and I'm always finding new stuff. I don't think he's putting new things in there. I'm just noticing it more as I look through it. So here's some awesome books. Let's get into this. Unexpected. Tales, or I don't know, this was like this title changed over time, but this is Unexpected 217 from DC Comics. I literally got it just for this amazing spaceman, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln to me is like uh, the mythological president of the United States because he has that top hat. He's like a, 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 a open domain, like comic, like we can, anyone can make an awesome Abraham Lincoln story and you can make him into a superhero and people would buy it. They'd be like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, awesome cover. Animal Man number 15, great Brian Bolin dolphin cover. That's dolphin right there with Animal Man. Picked it up just because it's an awesome, um, Bolin cover with Dolphin, and it, it's kind of like an homage to like her first appearance in like DC Showcase. That's a book I've been wanting to get, and I never see it. I don't want to pay a hundred. I know it goes for a lot of money, even more than a hundred. But who knows? Maybe one day I'll find it. You guys watch my hauls. You know, I will find it. I will <laughs> for a good price. Captain Adam number one. Uh, just a new fifty-two book. I figured why not get it. So that's cool. I like picking up these new 52 number one, especially when I find them in the dollar bin. Oblivion Song number one. This book uh, was big for a while. The option of the movie or TV show on Netflix. Who knows what's going on? But it was a dollar. Figured why not grab it? United States of Murder, Inc. This book, uh, again, another series. This is from the creator creative team uh, for Powers. It kind of even looks like Powers because it's Michael Avon Oving. Uh, I picked up one of these in the past, too. They announced some kind of show. It seems like they announced a whole bunch of stuff with uh, anything from like Jinx World or any of the stuff that uh, Brian Michael Bendis has made. So why not get it? I know I'm saying why not a lot, but hey, why not, right, guys? Hey, look, there was another one. So I, just, I grabbed another one because it was a dollar. <laughs> and then I grabbed the sketch cover. I don't know why I got this one, honestly. Whatever. <laughs> but it's, and it, this is for the. This is not the the same issue one as this. This is like from a, I think a new volume from his Jinx World Public. I don't know if he that's put out or maybe Titan doesn't. I'm not sure. Vampire Hunter D preview edition. Thought this was pretty cool. It's based on that. If anyone, I guess it's a manga, but it was an anime. This was like a movie I remember seeing, like in junior high or like freshman year high school. You know, we didn't have the internet yet, really. You know, not really yet. Like, the cool kids out there, they could watch whatever they want anytime. We had to share videotapes or try to find them or pay a ton of money for them. Uh, this one was never, like, my favorite anime, but this is a cool cover. Is this is Jay Lee. Looks like a Jay Lee art. It's cool. Speaking of Bendis and books that are, like, again, have some... Uh, hype behind it because of uh, some kind of movie or TV show. Pearl, number one. Reborn, number one. Pick this one up. It's funny. He he has everything in these books and uh, in these bins. And he told me every time on this, on this side of the store was a dollar. And this was in there. And I guess at one point, he was trying to sell us for $20. I don't know if it's worth 20 The Reborn is definitely one of the more popular Mark Millar Comics with Greg Capullo again. I think he still has that deal with Netflix, so almost any of his stuff can end up being a show at some point. And they talked about this being a show. I don't know. 
Pretty Violent number one. Pick this one up just because of the awesome Ryan Otley cover. This is the variant, so that's cool. And then this one's a big one. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I heard about it getting big, and then I went to the store and I found one in there for a buck, so I thought that was awesome. Barbaric number one. This book, again, another one of these series with, like, option for a series. I guess this character's, like, axe is, like, alive, and he has to, like, feed it. I don't know. Look at that mouth on it. It's pretty nasty. Uh, pretty cool book. Happy to grab that. Gen again, just for a buck. That's awesome. And then the last two for this dollar bin, before I get to the rest of the haul, uh, happy to grab these. I've been trying to find these for a while. I've never seen them before. And happy to find them in a dollar bin. I picked up two of them. DV8, number one. And another copy of DV8, number one. This is, the key significance of this is, this is a Dave Stevens, Adam Hughes co um, jam, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, who drew what? So it's got his signature on there. Where's the AH? Oh, there he is. Ha. Get it? Look, it's in the mirror, so it's reflected. So it's A H, and that's that's a cool little trick. Um, yeah, this is getting one of those later in the life Dave Steven covers. Happy to grab this. Uh, looked it up, not like a ton of value, but happy to have that again. Couldn't pass it up. And when I saw two of them, I was like in the dollar bin. I'm like, yeah, those come with those come with me. All right, here we go. Here's some new books. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about Hulk number fourteen. This is. The, um, well, it's a new issue, the new Hulk series. I like this. Uh, Storyline's kind of dragging a little bit, though, but I'm happy to grab it. I like the art. Kind of like a, a little bit of Mike Diotto a bit. I don't know what else how to describe him, but Phoenix, number one. I actually got this one for free. Uh, they got promo copies of my comic store, and they're like, you want this? And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. So this is the new Phoenix. So they relaunching all the X-Men books, and this is the... This is the relaunch uh, with Phoenix, so that's pretty cool. Happy to grab that. That's all. That's awesome. Star Wars 48. This is actually the variant cover. I thought the real co the regular cover was like Luke and Leia on the cover, but this is kind of cool. I like this one a lot, so I grabbed that one instead. And then Moon Knight number zero. Moon Knight's back. In Pog form. Now, uh, this is, I guess this was like a surprise book. There was no solicitation supposedly for this. Because they did kill off Mark Spector, but and then like the Shroud took over Moon Knight. I don't know. I went reading it, but I was like, I'm going to pick it up. Why not? And then the last three books of this haul, these are non dollar bin books, not new books. These are a little more expensive, but still amazing prices. So before I get into some more comics, I also want to show you some awesome toys that I picked up recently. All right, so we'll start with this guy. I should have removed the price tag off the front. Pee Wee and Pateri from Pee Wee Herman's uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. This is from NECA from, what year does this say? 2023, so pretty recent. But it was only 10 bucks. I'm going to show you what I paid for everything in the end for these three toys I'm about to show you. Uh, this store has a deal. Any of the ten dollar figures, you buy three, and they're twenty five. So you're saving five bucks, basically, which is pretty cool. This is awesome. I always like Pee Wee Herman. So, and then this is pretty awesome to get. This is Skywarp from Transformers Generations with uh, IDW comic. Here's the back. And this thing again, even at ten without the savings, you know is a great price. I mean, this is like at least a $25 figure. Uh, you know, carded, over 10 years old Transformers. These things tend to, uh, you know, the older ones. I know it sounds like a joke. I'm not talking about like, you know, Generation 1 from the 80s or even the Generation 2 stuff. But this is still pretty cool. So happy to grab that. And then here was the third one. And I'm going to show you one other toy after that. I thought this was an amazing deal at 10 bucks. I, I was actually shocked to see this in there. This is the Black Series, Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. What's awesome, it's sealed. It's in decent condition. What's awesome about this, this is from the blue line of the Black Series. So I miss these old boxes. This is when uh, the line kind of first started. Look at that. It even has like a little accessory of like his shirt folded like the way it was in the end of Return. Um... It felt more deluxe. 
when they first introduced this line. They were in these boxes, they had more accessories. They were pretty much like 20 out the gate anyway. But I thought this was pretty cool. Happy to grab this. I never got this one. I never even seen this like ever really in the store shelves. Like all the Black Series stuff would like get picked up real quickly anytime it hit. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. Didn't expect to see that. And then here's one I picked up from Ross. I saw people talking about this on TikTok and I couldn't believe it. This was only 25 bucks. This is crazy. Let me pull ahead and see if I can. This is an X-Men Marvel Legends set. It's like the Strife set. Let me show you the back. And it includes Random Zero, who kind of just looks like Spot. <laughs> I love the whole portal. Pretty Boy from the Reavers. Vertigo from the Ra Ravagers. I don't know. It was like Sabretooth. Uh, that was like the team review that Sinister ran with Mutant Massacre, with Sabretooth, I don't know, and then the awesome Strife figure. So this set was, I guess, an Amazon exclusive, and it was like over 100 bucks, I think, at one point. Box is sick. And like I said, only $20. Now, the only thing that kind of stinks about this is I wish there was a window. Unfortunately, this was like made when the Hasbro was doing its silly little like initiative of like, oh, we're not gonna have a plastic window anymore. I don't know. I think they got rid of that because it seems like all the new Marvel Legends and Black Series have windows so you could actually see the figure and not have to like take it out of the packaging. So yeah, that was pretty awesome to get for, um, you know, 25. So pretty sweet deal, I would say. Happy to grab that. And now back to some comics. He says, before I do get into those, do me a favor, smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Leave a comment if you haven't done it already. You could also wait till the end of the video. That's fine. You can do that whenever you want. And I'll get back to you accordingly. Uh, smash that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, you know, you like these type of videos, you like this content, smash subscribe. If you want to be notified, smash that bell for notifications. All right, let's get into this. Giant Size Avengers number four for only $4.99. This is like a nice fine condition copy. Really nice. This is the wedding of Vision and Scarlet Witch and the Swordsman and, um, oh my God, I told it, Mantis. Even though I think he's like a ghost, I don't know. It's weird. I have to, I'm gonna read this one. But um, I've been wanting to get this one for a while. Now this book was going for like 50 bucks, maybe even more, especially around the time with WandaVision series, of course. But to get this for 4 dollars is awesome. Giant Size Avengers number four. And then this one was only $5.99. It's not, a key, it's not considered a key, but it's a really early issue of Avengers. And it's in decent condition. Like, it looks good. I think, like, at first glance, it looked good. I think it has some tape on the side. It was only $5.99. Avengers number 22. I love this Chantress Captain America. I forgot who that is. I don't know if that's Goliath. Um, I forgot. Sorry, guys. Oh, Power Man. See Captain America in sensational battle with Power Man. Also, surprise team of villains whom you never expected to see in this ish. Ish. It's the kind of words they used back in the 60s. Uh, yeah. Now, it's, like I said, it has, like, some tape on the sides. It's also, whoever owned this comic or whatever must have really liked some of the ads. And they clipped two little ads that don't affect the story or anything like that. But, I mean, for just $5.99, I couldn't pass that up. I was like, that, it, it just looks good. I mean, this to me is, like, just awesome, like, 60s Marvel right there. I always like that little pop art with 12 cents. That's pretty cool. And the last issue of this haul, here we go, guys. This is pretty cool. I've been wanting to get this one for a while. This one is in, like, uh, I would say, like a VF condition. It doesn't have a little bit of spine ticks, but you know what? I don't care. Happy to grab it. It was only $15.99. Freddy Krueger is a nightmare on Elm Street, number one, the magazine. Um, this is awesome. So I think, I don't know if there's, like, I think there's, like, another issue... I don't think there's any more after that. I have to look it up, but I've been wanting this one for a while. Now, this store uh, that I go to where I got these other two books, the Avengers and then this giant size Avengers, they sell a lot of toys there. And they sell a lot of comics as well, too. And I have found some amazing things there for really decent prices. Uh, they had a bunch of copies of these like a month or two ago, still in the bin. They're, and they were charging 50 for it. And I was like, ah. Uh, I can't. I can't justify paying $50 for it. Uh, but then I was looking at this other bin that they must have got new magazines. 
and they had a bunch of copies of this. They had two copies that were in worse condition for nine ninety nine, and then this one being like the better condition copy for fifteen ninety nine. And this one's almost as good condition as the fifty dollar copy that they were selling. Now the way this store operates is kind of weird. They'll like they price things. It's a joke. Like they're kind of like an eBay store. Even not like the one in forty year old virgin where like the guy you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? He walks in and he wants to buy boots that have fish in it and she won't sell it to him because she's like, you got to buy it on eBay. And he's like, oh, Jonah Hill. And he's all confused. They're not like that. They actually sell the stuff. It's just some of the things they have are on eBay as well. But they go by like last sold, like 60 days or whatever. So if they get a new one in and this thing hasn't sold like 50 bucks, or whatever, and they see prices are like 10, 15 bucks, they'll charge that price. But then they'll keep... <laughs> I think I don't know if I'm explaining this right. The other copies of this book are still in the bin for $50. They don't ever go back and reprice those. Very rarely they ever do. So I, anytime I see something expensive or whatever, I some, I'm known to like, you know what? I'm going to wait because they might get another copy of this and then they'll charge way less for some reason. And that's what happened here. So happy to show a little restraint. And to wait and got an amazing copy of this. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it presents really well. And it was, a, I'd rather pay $15.99 than $49.99. So, yeah. I thought this was a pretty cool haul with the dollar bin stuff. You know, this uh, Dave Stevens book. Been wanting to get this one. Finding that dollar bin was really cool. So, yeah. Do me a favor. I'm done already. Smash that like button, leave a comment if you haven't done so already. Sm uh, smash that subscribe button, become part of the Little Compass conversation. You're going to see a previous video here. You're going to see a previous video there. You're going to smash that subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.